Palace is down in Gulf Shores, and that is where there was a lot of damage to a very anticipated uh -huh. pier down there. Oh, that a pier that has cost millions of dollars, and a lot of folks enjoy fishing off that pier. Bree, I know you've got some bad news for us. Yeah, well, I want to get right to it, guys. We're going to zoom in. If you look at the pier, there's just a gaping hole there, an entire portion just swept away by Hurricane Sally. Now, you guys kind of got into it, but this was a $2.4 million project, a renovation project that replaced all the wood on the pier and then added a whole new deck. And it, like you guys said, so highly anticipated. They're really excited about the opening of this. We don't know any details now when it comes to, you know, how long we're going to have to wait again for that, but it's going to be a significant amount of time, as you can see, by how significant that damage is. You know, I knew there was damage. I had seen some pictures. We didn't have a lot of good service, so I wasn't able to see any video of it. But when photojournalist Matt Goins and I walked up, we, I mean, it, it's just, it's stark. It's jarring. You can just it's see it right there. Seriously, just a gaping hole. Of course, all the piers are closed right now, so this is really as close as we can get for you guys at the moment. But, you know, just another one of those things here that we're seeing. And we have been out and about in Orange Beach and Gulf Shores all day between flooding, down power lines, down trees. I know we're seeing that other places as well. This pier damage, the very sad news that we found out from Orange Beach about an hour ago about the fatality and the missing woman. It's it's being hit really hard down here. And I actually got a chance to watch a quick Facebook video that Orange Beach Mayor Tony Kennan posted saying that this is going to be a really hard one to recover from. He said in some ways he does believe that it's worse than Ivan just because of how substantial all of the flooding has been and given how many issues there are with trying to get power back on. I know that's something you guys have been talking to a lot of the power companies, Baldwin EMC, trying to, you know, get word from them about how they're going about everything. They obviously have to be really safe too and had to pull their crews out and wait for a while.